Um, book two of 2019 was um, Jog On How Running Save My Life by Bella Mackey. Um, I listened to it on audio book. Um, I enjoyed it because it was all about how this uh, author had struggled with anxiety and it was kind of taking over her life a little bit and how she went from absolutely nothing from not being able to run for a minute and she built it up and built it up and built it up and you know she became a runner um, and she said that she didn't enjoy running but she felt really good after running and it kind of made her take a little bit of control of her life um, and I started running properly like I'd, I'd ran on and off and obviously when I was when I was a kid I used to play sports and stuff so I was running when I was doing sports but because there was no sports at college and I didn't carry it on at university that much um, I kind of got out of it and became really unfit um, and then you know took it up like a little bit and then couldn't really make myself do it a lot and then I joined a run club and I started doing it regularly and absolutely loving it and I found that I actually really enjoy running the problem with me is trying to make myself go running but every time I've run I never, I never think, oh, I wish I hadn't gone for a run. Like, I've never once thought that. Um, so I enjoy it. I don't understand why I don't do it more. I think it's because of this conditioning that a run is, is strange and why, you know, why are you doing that kind of thing. Um, but I really enjoy it. And I think as well, maybe it's the avoidance of the hurt that comes afterwards. But I've been doing yoga, so I'm stretching, so it's fine. <laughs> I didn't get the dons last time. Not properly anyway, which was great. Um... So yeah, so for me, running is definitely meditation, and, and this Bella Mackey, she kind of goes into a little bit more about like other people's stories and how they found exercise and how that's helped them with their mental health as well, and that how it's really, really good for your mind, and that you know if you're stressed or if there's things kind of going on that you you want to get away from, then any type of exercise, you know, if, you, if running's not your bag, then something else is definitely worth doing, like, we're, so, we're built to exercise, like, we need to exercise, it's not a punishment, it's not a weight management tool, it's, you know, part of your daily, like, what you need, what, you, what your body needs, what your mind needs, um, so I really enjoyed listening to her talking about that, it was a little bit repetitive, and it was a little bit like, this could have been said in like less time, so in less pages if you were reading it in the hard copy. Um, but I still enjoyed listening to her talking about it. She's It was kind of like having a chat with a friend because she kept going back on the same thing and I'm like I've already heard you talk about this but that's normal conversation I guess isn't it? And she is actually really funny. Like I'd be listening to it and then she'd say something and I'd literally just be like snorting because I'd be like where did that come from? It was like almost like a surprise. Very dry, very witty humour and I love that humour so it was it was nice to read. Um, so yeah I'd recommend reading that one too. Particularly as well if you're a runner or if you've thought about running or if you are suffering from any kind of anxiety, depression, mental health issues, anything like that. It's definitely worth listening to as a, as a different kind of way of medicating yourself um, because it does work and it does help.